God, bear. I, I had a borderline like panic attack. Oh, that was great. How is everybody doing? This is Lucas the Ducas, and we are once again checking out <laughs> checking out a ship on the workshop. Jesus, man. Yeah, we're checking out a ship on the workshop I found. Not actually a ship. Well, Jesus Christ! <gasps> what is this? Get out of here! You're fucking shit up! Oh my god! Jesus! I'm so sorry to the creator of this ship. Oh, we we're starting off so tough. Oh, you got it rolling too. So yeah, you guys, this is a rover I found on the workshop that is pretty damn cool. Um... It's, it's a pretty simple design, as you guys can see. It's not the most advanced rover out there. I'm trying to bring it to a complete stop here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So, yes, a very simple design using light armor. As you can see, it's a little bit of a, a brownish-red sort of maroon color. It is equipped with a, a Gatling turret, an automated turret on top of it that is also conveyed to the ship's cargo containers. So, it has three medium cargo containers, as you can see. So, this is a rover that can move pretty agilely and it is also set up to be somewhat of a survival situation so three car containers hooked up to the connector so you can easily access it all and easily distribute whatever you're transporting you're transporting across uh, the planet's surface so as you can see it has uh, eight five by five tires the biggest tires that you can put on this thing but yeah, you guys, so this thing is pretty, pretty exciting. I had, I've had so much fun with it. That's why we had pretty much like a very, very long intro of like three minutes. So we're going to be showing you guys a little bit of what this thing entails, how fast it is, um, what it takes to use it. It's pretty simple to use, but there is definitely some room for error, you guys. So we're going to get in this thing. I'm going to show it to you, bros. It's pretty badass. So it's called the Dawnstar Rover. So I'd like to thank the creator right off the bat for creating such a cool ship. As you can see, you have all of your um, your your different ship components listed right there, as long as your as well as your speed and your battery charge and your amount of cargo used and all that good stuff. So a little bit of uh, LCD panels to help you out there. As you can see, we have um, some various um, atmospheric thrusters here and there, but they don't appear to be on. And it's weird you, if you take off this turret. There's actually a room with some um, there's a room with some, like, chairs and stuff that you can't get to otherwise, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to get to it besides, um, just taking off the turret, but let's, let's show you guys how this beast works. Oh, we're just gonna run straight over that thing. So as you can see, you can just get it going like this, and you can turn off the inertial dampeners, and you'll roll for a considerable amount of time. We're actually going uphill, but, um, if we were to be going downhill, we could just continue to gain momentum for long periods of time and this is how you drive this thing you guys so it's a cool way to drive it is to just uh is to just let it roll so we're gonna turn around here and we're gonna take this thing from zero to 100 as fast as we can do it so you gotta turn this thing very gently you guys because as you can imagine it tips over rather easily so very cool ship you guys here we go we're gonna go as fast as we can I'm telling you, you could traverse the planet so fast. Oh, oh, Jesus. 
Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! I'm telling you guys, once you tip this thing, it is nearly impossible to get it to, like, untip, to get it to go the right way. It's not like Grand Theft Auto where it wants to tip over. It's the complete opposite. It does not want to tip over at all. Oh, God, I hate it when it does that. So, yeah, we're going to spawn this again. We're going to try to do that one more time. Uh, that was sort of a sloppy uh, little example of how that works. So, as I said, you guys, you have to be so careful about it. I mean, just so, so careful. But it is a fair amount of fun. Fair good amount of fun. So, we're going to do this again. Oh, 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 barely, barely. So as you can see, it picks up a good amount of speed. You're gonna, you're gonna want to stay straight, guys. So we're actually gonna go, and we're gonna pick up a good amount of speed, and we're gonna keep going for a little bit. Oh, we're losing control. Oh, we've already lost control. <clears throat> all right, all right, you guys. We're gonna try this one more time. You just, you just have to get the feel for it. Just don't go too fast. And let it get to a good coast. And... <laughs> we, st we, we still could pull through. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, there we go, you guys. So, um, you know, what we could do to actually try to fix this a little bit. I, I'm surprised I haven't thought of this before. Is we could go to the wheels or... Are they wheels? Yeah, they're wheels. Let's go to all the wheels, and we're actually going to turn the friction up a little bit, so we're more likely to stay on the ground. Let's turn all the way up to 90. Jesus, what are you doing? My turret fell off. <laughs> the AI is just on top of me, you guys. Get out of here! So yeah, now that we've turned up the friction, I can tell already that we're staying on the ground quite a bit easier. So yeah, make sure to turn up that friction, you guys. Definitely depending on what planet you're on. But as you can see, we're just moving right now. We all, we have the speed mod act activated. But you guys, this thing is actually pretty stable once you get a hold of it. You can just take out trees. Trees are pretty much no match for it. And with that turret, it is very, very formidable against other small rover type vehicles. Look at this. We're heading up for a jump now. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The jump of the century! Jesus! Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, we got some air, you guys. We got some fucking air. Uh, this isn't... Oh, shit! I, we actually... Not as bad as I thought that would have ended up. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I'm telling you guys, it does not want to stay flat side up. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we've, we've drove it around a little bit. Um, there's not much else to go into. I mean, it is truly a, a cool ship to mess around with. That's why I thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, God damn it, these things. He's just blasting me right now. Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Get over here, you stupid little critter. God, these things are smart. Run as far away from me as it knows that I'm about to come here and just destroy its ass. Punk. Yeah, punk. Oh, another one. Jesus. Right, what was I talking about? We have been distracted by the gosh darn aliens. Fuck you. Let's go over to that salvage facility over there. So, you guys, this is a little bit of a ship showcase and somewhat of just uh, me messing around. 
Oh god damn it. <laughs> As you can see, me messing around. But yeah, a really cool ship, you guys. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more things, and then we're gonna go into our final thoughts. Um, we might as well just drive over to the salvage facility and see what's going on, so you guys can see this ship in somewhat of a survival scenario. So yeah, we're gonna travel over there really slow, we don't wanna crash again. But yeah, very lore friendly, I mean, it sort of reminds me of, um, that little vessel that Matt Damon had in his, uh, in the Martian movie. God, what is that called? I just saw it the other day. Last Martian? Something like that? Or the only Martian? I have no idea. But, uh, it sort of reminds me of that little ship that he used to travel across Mars to the different drop sites and stuff. And, uh, that was actually a really big part of that movie was that, um, that little rover thing. But yeah, it still reminds me of this thing. And we've forgotten to turn the friction on, but I think we're going to be fine. Just if we take it a little slow. But this is what I'm talking about, you guys. You can just let it drift. And look how fast we're going. It is very stable when you just let it drift. Alright, we're coming up on the salvage facility. Should probably turn the... Yeah, the turret is already on. Yeah, so this is a really cool, really cool car, you guys. I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, after we go to the salvage facility, I'm going to show you just how long it takes to get a hold of how to handle it. Because <laughs> me and Bear tried to do a little bit of um, a survival scenario. And it was just so hard for us to just really get the hold of how to pilot this thing. Because once you get a hold of it, it's actually quite efficient and quite cool. But it takes quite a while. Definitely turning up the friction would be something to help you out there. But as you guys can imagine, we are Matt Damon. We are traveling to the drop zone to get a little satellite so we could communicate with the, our fellow Earthlings. Oh, what are you guys doing? You're shooting me? <laughs> this did not happen in the Matt Damon movie. At least I don't think it happened. Oh, Jesus. You bastards. Look what you've done. I'm telling you guys, this thing does not want to stay on its wheels. Oh my. So yeah, guys, uh, it is not the most uh, offensive capable little ship out there. But yeah, as I said, we're going to show little clips of how many times me and Bear kept falling over. And then we're going to come back to our little home station. We're going to take one last look at the ship and then say our farewells, say what we think about the ship. And then, of course, you guys, this ship is going to be in the description for you guys to check out in the future. So, once again, you guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you back in one second. What on earth do you need pistons for? Oh, my God. Warheads and pistons, Bear. This was just supposed to be a race, but Bear is getting a little creative about it. Not sure why. But, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty speedy ship, especially when you get the speed mod on. I mean, yeah. So you're going to want to just keep straight as long as possible. If you turn going like anywhere above 50 meters per second, you're just going to crash practically instant. Practically. Ele. Bear. Are we racing or what? What are you doing? <laughs> no, what are you doing? What are you doing? This oh my god. Four spiders are attacking. Kill a bear. God, is my turret just oblivious to what's going on? Maybe he doesn't have a right angle to see this. Look at all these dead spiders, man. We need to get out of here, bear. Let's start the race before the spiders just destroy us. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta take it careful, bear. Careful! Bear, that is the opposite of careful. Bear has already lost the race. <laughs> oh my god, Bear! What have they done to you? <laughs> Behind you, Bear! Alright, bear, spawn in one of these beasts. 
We need to make it there by nightfall, so we gotta race. About 4,000 meters away. Oh, another spider behind you, bear. Oh my god. The spiders are trying to get bear all day today. You just gotta take it easy, bear. You can't just go too hot right out of the gate. Alright. Ready. On your mark. Get set. Go! Go, wait, go, get, go, no, no, don't ram! You'll never catch me if you're ramming. Oh. To the mining operation site. This is gonna be tough, Bear. This is gonna be tough. Did you already crash? <laughs> Bear, it's so tough. You've already crashed. Bear, you just gotta take it easy, man. <laughs> you're, just in, in, you're just incapable of taking it easy. Alright, Bear, we're starting the race. Bear is deciding to attack me. So, are we ready, Bear? That is an awfully cool way to start it off. Alright, Bear. Three. Two. One. I have a feeling you're not even in your ship. Oh, yes you are. Let's go. Oh, God. Bear is off to a good start. I hit a tree. Bear, you're already spinning out of control. Oh, you punk. <laughs> you just gotta treat like a baby. Take those turns like a baby. I'm leaving you in the dust, bear. I'm leaving you in the dust! This is what dreams are made of? No! Oh, God damn it. Come on, get it out of there. Yes, no. It just, it doesn't want to flip back over. It will do everything in its power for it not to flip back over. Where are you, Bear? <laughs> bear, did you crash too? Alright, I'm on your tail, Bear. We're going off roading. Oh, this is gonna be sketchy. <laughs> they already... What are you shooting at? Oh, this is how you get over. This is how you get over. This <laughs> Fuck. There's like 13 spiders down here. <laughs> bear! The bear! <laughs> There's 13 spiders down here! Bear, you better come down here like right freaking now, dude. There's so many <laughs> spiders. Bear, kill this. <laughs> kill all these fucking spiders. <laughs> but hey, just stop killing. Let them all swarm you for a second. That'd make a good shot, Bear. A good survival shot. Oh my god. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Oh my god! Bear. bear! Fight for survival, bear! <laughs> a bear versus 30 spiders and a bear is <laughs> victorious. That That is what we do. What, one last spider thinks he can do something? Hell nah. <laughs> Hell nah. Power Unsen right now. Oh, that was, that was glorious, Bear. That was... Whoa! That's 
show off the jump of a lifetime. Be careful though. We have to get pretty far before we get to it. Not the <laughs> Wasn't the jump. Wasn't the jump. <laughs> That wasn't the jump there. Oh. Oh. Bear, here's the jump right here. No, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, fine, fine. I'm just gonna delete you if you're gonna be like that. Are you kidding me? Am I incapable of catching these things? There we go. Dude, the spiders are coming with a vengeance right now, man. Oh my god. Bear. The spiders. Is that you down there, Bear? Bear. We need to hit the jump and get out of here. Too many spiders. Too many spiders, they're everywhere. What the fuck is going on? I hear spider spare. I don't I don't know if I can survive the night like this. Bear, I hear the spiders, but I cannot find them. <laughs> I'm good now, I'm making a run for it. Um where I I I'm underground. What has happened? What has happened? I'm underground, bear. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Ah. Free. Free. Oh my god, spiders. Spiders, what the fuck are you doing? Spiders! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Where's my gun?
Oh my god, bear. I, I had a borderline like panic attack. Oh, that was great. All right, here we go, my friends. We've tried this like three times now, and they keep destroying us. So this is a lot harder than I first anticipated. But we have strapped up an intense amount of rocket launchers, so we should be able to do it this time, you guys. Here we go. We're just cruising. Already taking fire. I can hear it. There it is. There it is. We are still pointing towards the ground. Pull up, you son of a bitch. Well, we can take out this turn at least. No, 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 no. Oh, you can't even take out one turret. Take out that turret. Oh my god. Well, there you go, you guys. Uh, a very cool ship, but it's not really meant to take out stations, apparently. I didn't really expect it to, but I thought we might be able to make a little bit of headway. But yeah, you guys, once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. We got a bunch of stuff planned in the future. The tournament's coming up. We got some dogfighting stuff going on. And we're also working in survival, although we won't have a survival episode for about a week or two now. So once again, you guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This is Lucas the Ducas, and if you like this video, be sure and go out and support the mod author who made this legendary ship by the name of the... Um, God, I already forgot the name. Oh, crap. What's what's your name? The Dawnstar. So once again, you guys, support the Dawnstar on the Steam Workshop. A truly incredible ship. I didn't mean to destroy it so many times, but the AI is just so, so brutal, so ruthless these days. So once again, you guys, this is Luke the Duke. Good night and good luck.